Hi there, Junior Rangers! Are you ready to play a game? Let's get Ranger Joey to play with us! Hello, Junior Ranger Leo! Are you and your friends ready? We've got this! This animal lives in the ocean. Can you guess what animal it is? This animal is one of the largest mammals in the ocean and it can sing underwater. Whoa, that's loud. Their songs can travel up to 30 kilometers. And despite being big, this animal has no teeth. And it's named after the hump on its back. That's right! It's the humpback whale! That was fantastic, Junior Rangers! Yeah, that was fun, Ranger Joey! Thanks, and Ranger out! Ranger out! Thank you for helping me out! Don't forget to subscribe and like this video! I'll see you again next time! Junior Ranger Kyle, what are you up to today? Hi, Leo! Exciting news! I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait! There it is again! I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus One, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm going to throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick. Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little... Grab my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. 
Is everybody all right? You bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. Whoa, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever! I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pilla. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on. Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swarmed with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm. That is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one. There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look, it's Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year, and it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? 
They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can herd them. All right. Hang tight, rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh, no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! It's the Mama Hippo! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers! <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me! Sorry! Pardon me! Go to Mama! Yay! Now let's get out of here! I love a happy ending! Mission accomplished! <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate. Males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? 
I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey, where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.